So it's, uh, I think it's day 1000 of the COVID-19 crisis in Ohio. We're flatlining, but the weather's gorgeous. So we're finally gonna get outside. There's my, uh, there's my graceful ballerina daughter who's going to let me take some pictures of her with uh, this old Calumet 4x5 camera. How many pictures do you have? So, um, I have... Can I take one? No. No, just uh, take a... Good job. Can you what? Oh, I thought you were focusing it. No, I'll focus it now. I was holding it the whole time. What? Oh, I forgot to record any of it. <laughs> it's a pretty arabesque too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I wanted to, we should get a picture of him with a skateboard. I don't want to. We tried. You must go play baseball. You're on video. Oh. That's awesome. That's even better. <laughs> Alright, let's double check. The shutter's closed. The curtain's closed. I'll probably even make this one into a real vlog. It'll be short. Oh. What? Oh. Get this out of the way. There he is. Good. Now with the oh my god, are you cute? Alright, so she ready? Yeah. Tell me. One, two, three. So we're in my bathtub dark room, going to develop the uh, six shots we took yesterday. It's going to get dark. You got him. So here we go. Something happened there. And there, because that's way underexposed. And all of them were shot at the same exposure. So I did something wrong with Got it. Setting the shutter or the slide. Oh, the other one came out good. This one I was actually kind of excited about because he actually stopped and let me take a picture. So this is just real quick how I scan and import um, 4x5s. I do them in two halves on my Canascan 9000, 9000F, um, using just the, the medium format slide or negative holder they have in there that lets me make sure I keep them straight. Um, and I do them as um, color negative films. You can actually see there's a little bit of a cast to these as I import it into Photoshop. And then I stitch the two halves together. Um, and from there, I'll flatten it and convert it to black and white and clean up any dust and scratches that they happen to have. Pretty happy with actually how all these turned out. I haven't shot that camera in a while. Um, I have a few more 
sheets of 4x5 left, and then I'm actually getting some chemicals in to do wet plate next week with that camera.